The newest member of the Moorhead State Volleyball coaching staff is Jared Goldberg, and he joins us today on MSUEagles.com. And Jared, welcome to Rowan County and Moorhead State. Uh, we're glad that you're here. Why don't you start off today by telling us kind of what attracted you to Moorhead State and what uh, eventually got you here as an assistant volleyball coach? Uh -huh. So when I first heard about this job opening, um, it was I saw it as an amazing opportunity here to come here to a program uh, that has had success in the past. Um, it's doing a lot of building right now. Uh, so I think this is a program that can do a lot in the future. Um, and I was immediately attracted to that. I'm sure that you're aware uh, that the team had a little bit of a hiccup this past year, but prior to that had been really dominant in the Ohio Valley Conference. And I'm sure for you and, and the energy moving forward with the program, a new facility helps as well. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, on my interview over here, uh, Coach Gordon took me through the new facility and I saw uh, the plans and what uh, what the future is really holding for this program. Um, and so that I'm really excited about that, and I think we can do some good things here. The past two years you were at um, uh, Southeastern Conference School down at Old Miss, uh, worked with the Rebel Volleyball Program there, and you had a couple different head coaches that you worked with. And I know that you did a lot for the program there, and I think what jumps off the page at me is how good that second year was. Just kind of expand on that and tell us about your experience at Old Miss. Uh-huh. So my whole, my whole time at Ole Miss was absolutely awesome. Um, I went through two, uh, two coaching staffs there, um, and kind of at the turn, um, it, was, it was cool to see uh, how the girls on the team kind of turned um, and kind of came together a lot in that second season as we had a lot of improvement, and how as we got a few wins under our belts, that kind of kept rolling over, um, and I could see the results of the momentum going on there. We uh, know you're going to bring a lot to the table here for Moorhead State Volleyball, but one thing right off the bat that you've kind of been associated with or known for is your experience with a program called Data Volley. Why don't you kind of uh, expand on that and explain to our viewers what that is and how it's going to help uh, the Eagle Volleyball team moving forward. Yeah, so Data Volley is a video and statistical software analysis. Um, it's used by all the highest levels. USA Volleyball uses it. Um, every single national team across the, around the world uses it. Uh, I originally learned a little bit about it in eighth grade um, as part of, kind of through my family and my background with volleyball. Um, I learned a little bit through data volley in eighth grade. Uh, and after I finished playing college, um, I, I interned with the national team. Um, and that kind of helped me grow in learning data volley and using it for a couple of seasons. I've, seasons, I've got a little bit more experience with it. You kind of alluded to this, but my next topic or question was about uh, your experience with USA Volleyball. And if I'm looking at your bio correctly, it looks like this will be your third straight summer working with um, the national program there. Just tell us what you're going to be doing and how you first got involved with that. Yep. So I first got involved uh, kind of through this data volley background. I uh, went out to Anaheim where our national team trained uh, for about a month that first summer and learned a lot under that program and saw some volleyball at a very, very high level. Uh, I came back my second summer last year and did that. Um, in the past two summers, I've also worked on Colorado Springs uh, for the national team tryout uh, through this data volley, doing stats and video for them. Um, and then this summer, I was selected to work with the junior national team. Uh, and we're going to be going out to Croatia in about a month uh, to, work for the, um, to work and play in this tournament called the Global Challenge. That's awesome. Take us back to your playing days. You, uh, I guess you were so brilliant and, and so smart that you graduated college in three years, but you played Division I men's volleyball on the varsity level for three years, both at uh, Pacific and then at uh, Grand Canyon, or I guess I have that backwards. Uh, yeah, you yep. started at yep. Pacific and finished at Grand Canyon. Tell us about your playing days, what position you played, and, and how that experience was for you overall. Uh -huh. So I came into college, and I was a setter. Uh, started out at Pacific, redshirted my freshman year. Uh, I actually transferred after that first year, and I transferred into my new school with a little bit more credits than I originally had. Okay. Um, and so that kind of helped me get ahead, and I ended up uh, finishing my undergrad in two more years, uh, playing at Grand Canyon. I was a setter and a serving spec uh, my last year there quite a bit. So, Introduce us to your family. You come uh, from good bloodlines, as they say. Your, your father has been the head volleyball coach at American University in, in Washington, D.C. for 26 years, and... Your mom runs a club out there, your sister's involved in the sport, and I guess your brother was the outcast because he plays lacrosse. But go ahead and give us kind of an overview of your family and what the uh, sports industry has meant to you growing up. Yeah, that's a little bit of it. Um, so, as you said, uh, my dad's been around volleyball my whole life. My parents met uh, as coaches at Georgetown. 
Um, so I've grown up around it my whole life, and it's been a really neat experience growing up in the gym and seeing it every day uh, for a long time. And what, it, what originally attracted me to coaching uh, was I saw my dad coming home every day from coaching, absolutely loving his job. Uh, and so I think that kind of pulled me into it. Um, my parents also run a club, uh, as you said there, a volleyball club, as well as a large volleyball tournament called Capitol Hill Classic. Um, and so growing up around that, me and my siblings have always been involved in sports. I played a ton of sports growing up uh, and then kind of stuck to volleyball later. Um, as with my sister, she played in college at University of the Pacific for a while, and now she works and runs a volleyball club in Northern California. And then my brother played a little bit, uh, but he stuck to other sports, and now he's uh, quite the lacrosse player now. <laughs> okay, very good. Hey, Coach Jamie Gordon kind of was forecasting your future and said that you understand the business and he feels like you'll be in it for a, a long time. Can you, I know you're going to take it one step at a time, but can you maybe talk about future goals? Is it climbing the ladder in college volleyball? Are there other interests within the sport that you have? Uh -huh. When I originally came on the interview, Coach Gordon was kind of asking me about that and, and asking why I want to be in coaching. And as I said a minute ago, the reason is because I love it and I saw it every day uh, how my dad loved it and it's something I, I'm really uh, passionate about. Um, and so it's something I want to do long term uh, and eventually climbing up the ladder and becoming a head coach in my future, I'd love to do. One other thing that Jamie Gordon mentioned, you know, obviously you're in your mid-20s, but he said that your experience and your maturity kind of has you well beyond your years. Can you cite specific examples growing up of maybe things you learned at an earlier age, just tagging along with your dad or being in the family that you, that you come from in terms of volleyball and coaching and just kind of understanding things? maybe earlier than a lot of other coaches? Uh -huh. I think a lot of that goes back to my experience with data volley. Um, when I was learning it in eighth grade, I guarantee I was the youngest person in the country <laughs> messing around with that. Um, and That's I've cool. just gotten that experience. Uh, when I was really little, I was homeschooled. Um, and so we were able to travel to every single volleyball game um, through fifth grade, okay. uh, home and away. So I've just been around it a lot. And I think that, uh, that experience being around it um, – is directly attributed to uh, my knowledge of the game. Okay. I didn't see American on the 2015 schedule, but we might have to twist some arms and see if we can get them on down the road. What do you think? <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> All right. That's Jared Goldberg, the newest member of the Moorhead State Volleyball staff. Jared, thanks for your time today, and best of luck moving forward. Thank you. We'll have more on MSUEagles.com and a full release on Jared available, so be sure to check that out.